Let's do this. Number three. Guys, first off, thank you for wanting to continue this conversation about marriage and relationships. Um, I just want to cover this kind of thing for a little bit because I've learned a lot. And I'm really glad that you guys want to hear more. So last time I talked to you guys about trust, about falling in love. It is best to think that if you want to fall in love, that that other person will catch you when you fall in love so that it's safe. If you feel that safety, that you can fall, man, it's a beautiful thing. I think it's very rare today. I don't like that and neither should you. But we do have a crazy world out there right now. You know, over the last several years, it has been brought up to me many, many times, I am a true, strong believer in marriage. Even though that I'm a divorced man, and I went through a lot, I believe in it. I knew that it had to be something more than this. This couldn't be something that, since the beginning of us, this has been a thing to be with someone you love. Well, it's not that right now. It is almost as if you become roommates with some special uh, benefits and, and uh, then you end up arguing, disliking each other and cashing in. Um, that is not what it's meant to be. We always see one of my favorite things in life, truly, is when I see a very old couple holding hands or helping each other, helping each other out of the car, into the house. I love it. I love it because that is the best definition. Physically seeing two people that have been together forever and they know what they need to do help each other. That's this whole point. You and I lack things. We lack a lot. We need help. It's weird. A lot of people today, will they, they'll end up telling me, well, people are getting married too young. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I remember when I thought that. I remember when I thought that people were marrying too young. It's not that they're marrying too young. It's that they're never being taught what marriage really is. If they knew what marriage really is, they wouldn't do it because of the selfishness part, because that's all we deal with today. Pride, selfishness, total destruction. It is 100% evident in the divorce rate. It is even more risky to get married in a church, involved in a church, because there are more divorces in the church than outside. <laughs> what happened? Seriously, what, 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 what do we do? Well, I think it's this. I don't have nothing. I have no issues when it comes to the whole, they're too young. Well, I know 30 year olds that are too young. It is what is marriage? Have they been taught that? The answer is no. It doesn't matter what age it is. The examples that they have to glean from because that's about it. No one sat down with them, their mother or their father and said, these are the reasons why you need marriage. 
it is just a standard thing these you know all throughout history you love someone you do this okay i've loved a lot of people in my life not necessarily uh, in relationship wise but i've loved a lot of people that doesn't mean that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with them. Okay, so where's the disconnect? The mother or the father teaching the child what it is to be married. You have found someone. Do you want to help them? Do you want to make them happy? Do you want to do this together? Drop everything, drop your selfish agenda, drop whatever it is to serve this person. That's what it is. It is full of rewards when you do this. A lot of words have been twisted when it comes to marriage. A lot of things. I think the focus is completely off. Falling in love. Falling in love. When you do that and you're married and you're fallen, you've given that trust. The things like what God created, including making love to that person, becomes incredible. Because you've fallen into that person. You've fallen and let them catch you. And they're right there gentle and wonderful that's a good life that's a really good life but we've kind of excluded our children all throughout this time to where marriage has been redefined to the point where the government is now involved and you must get this license and you must pay this tax for that to happen I am 100% against all of that. They have no business being in marriage, no matter what country you're in. Marriage is really what I just described. Why does that have to be governed? We've lost it. We've lost the reason. I've got plenty more. If you guys want to keep hearing, please let me know, and we'll just keep going until you guys feel good about this let's let's get back to the real definition god's intention for love and marriage